Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at two-way ANOVA with replicate measurements. So what we're going to do in this particular one is chase after um, interaction effects, as I should say. So, uh, just a quick remark actually, assumptions are a very important part of ANOVA. Uh, when you get the when you're dealing with statistics at this level, it's important to actually have set out the uh, assumptions, and because quite often you'd be asked to check them or just state them in your exams. All assumptions for two-way ANOVA procedure uh, samples are drawn from normally populated distribu or normally distributed populations, common variants for the populations, and the samples are independently drawn from each other. And for this one, uh, within each sample, uh, the observations are sampled randomly and independently of each other. Okay, so uh, this is in the, uh, two ANOVA with replicates. So there's a couple of extra. Um, there's a, a, the, this is the table of formulae that we're going to be using. Now I'm specifically going to look at this one here, this one here, and this one here, as well as the degrees of freedom. Okay. And so uh, I'm going to come back to those bit by bit. Uh, there's a couple of so, so the total sums of squares. These are the sums of squares identities. Uh, these are degrees of freedom. Oops, the degrees of freedom, and I just call it DF. Degrees of freedom, DFs and the mean square there at the end and essentially the mean squares are the sums of squared divided by the corresponding degrees of freedom. Alright here's a question the following data are from a two-factor experiment on sugar beet. The factors are as follows nitrogen and there's three levels uh, 0 kilograms of nitrogen, 50 kilograms of nitrogen and 100 kilograms of nitrogen so, uh, sulfate of ammonia per acre so this is about fertilizers and also the depth of winter ploughing so we could have 8 centimeters or 12 centimeters so there's two factors one factor has three levels the other factor has two levels okay I'm going to call the factors N and D respectively now uh, here are the measurements for each case so we have six sort of possible combinations of our levels so 0 and, uh, kilograms 8 centimeters, so 0 kilograms 12 centimeters and so on. So 3 by 2 we have 6 uh, combinations. Now with each combination there are 4 measurements. Okay. So 4 independent measurements, 4 replicate measurements. So for the first combination 0 kilograms 8 centimeters uh, we have found that there is we have 4 measurements for each uh, 1054, 1099, 1080 and 1093. The average of each uh, grouping is as follows. We're going to use them now actually. What we're going to do is reconstruct the table uh, using uh, or put, uh, construct a new table based on those means just to sort of get us going. So here it is on the next page. Um, so those are our, the, the means for each uh, combination of nitrogen and depth and the, uh, the mean of the four replicate measurements. Just as a remark, I'm going to go back here for a second, uh, the overall mean of this is 1307.25. Uh, 13, uh, 1307.25 that's the overall mean of the 24 measurements okay so all 24 measurements we have 24 measurements there four replicates for each of the six groups and the overall mean is 1307.25 okay so that is this one down here okay now we have the levels there uh, for nitrogen and we're going to put nitrogen on the, uh, just really for the sake of uh, ease of space, I put the nitrogens along the row, uh, along the columns and the depths along the rows, okay? Uh, so the, for the column means we have, it's the mean of the, uh, the first, uh, of the first column, so the mean of 1081.5 and 1158.25, that would be 119.875 or something like that. Uh, likewise, the other ones there we have the column means, and we also have two row means over here. 
So this is just a sort of quick uh, remark actually. When I go, I'm going to start using the formula now, and I'm going to have the two. The A refers to depth here, and B is going to refer to nitrogen. Okay. Uh, that that's quite important because the for formulas can trip you up very easily. So nitrogen is going to be the one that's arranged along the columns, uh, and uh, A is depth is the one that's going to be arranged along the rows. The reason for that is our formula sheet is going to sort of be based on that orientation. Okay, so first off, let's uh, uh, dis uh, sort of uh, disregard that matter now for a second. Oh, here we have it there. Uh, the number of rows minus one is uh, a is there's depth and there's two levels, which is say there's two rows. So two minus one that's going to equal one. Columns number of uh, if that's nitrogen. There's three levels or three columns. So three minus one that is is two. Okay, so. Degrees of freedom for A or the degrees of freedom for depth is one. Degrees of freedom for B or which is degrees of freedom for nitrogen is going to be two. This is the interaction effect down here. So it's the multiple of the two. So it's two times one, and that is two. The degrees of freedom there is going to be two also. The overall degrees of freedom N here is going to be twenty-four. There's twenty-four observations. So degrees of freedom for overall is twenty-four, and the error degrees of freedom is n minus rc that is 24 minus 6 times 3 or sorry 6 I should say uh, 2 times 3 which is 6 just got a bit ahead of myself there and that is equal to 18 okay just as a sort of uh, we'll sort of come back to this shortly but actually we'll find that um, Sorry, tw uh, sorry. Degree, total degrees of freedom is 24 minus 1 equals 23. I got a bit ahead of myself there. So this are the important degrees of freedom uh, that we're going to use later on. Okay, uh, there's a sort of little exercise based on this, but I want to sort of demonstrate uh, where all of the uh, values come from from first principles. I won't get time to do them all, but that's really the point of the exercise. So 23 is the total degrees of freedom. One is for a depth b is nitrogen so there's two degrees of freedom for that interaction two degrees of freedom error 18 degrees of freedom now what we're going to do here is compute sums of squares now I'm not going to compute total sums of squares I am going to compute the uh, sums of squares for depth and sums of squares for um, nitrogen so I'm going to look at this is depth remember A is depth Okay, so what the mean of the two groups uh, we have for each group of depth, subtract the mean, okay, and then square it and then add them all up. So I'm just going to go back down here and just try and get this. Sorry, just try and get that into shot, make life easy. Uh, I tell you what, I'll just scrub out this to give myself more room. Okay. Now. So this is one two five six point seven five minus one three zero seven point two five square that plus the other one one three five seven point seven five minus one three zero seven point two five square that and what you get you get uh, sorry just check my notes here for a second. Oh, two five five zero point two five plus two five five zero point two five. That is equal to five one zero zero point five. Okay. Now, uh, so M times C times uh, five one zero zero point five is what we're looking at. M here is equal to uh, four. 3 is equal to the number of columns, C, okay. And so it, what we have here is sums of squares for depth is equal to 4 times 3 times 5100.5. Zero, zero that would work out to be 61206. So that is sums of squares for depth. 
my H in there. I'm gonna get that rice. And uh, that's the answer to the first one. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is sums of squares for nitrogen. So let's start again. New slide here. And what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna do the exact same thing, but we are gonna use the three uh column means instead. The last time around we used the row means, but the, because we're dealing with nitrogen, we're going to use the column means. It's the same sort of calculation. Uh, one, I'm just going to do this part first, the summation part, and then we're going to multiply by m times r, which is going to be four times two, which is nine. Or uh, four times two is eight, so I'll multiply it by the rest. One 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 nine point eight seven five minus one three zero seven point two five squared plus one three zero eight point one two five minus one three zero seven point two five squared plus one four nine three point two uh, seven five sorry minus one three zero seven point two five squared that would work out to be I'm just uh, reading off my notes here now uh, this is a lot of calculator work, so I'm just going to sort of, uh, you should get something like this. Or allowing for a bit of random uh, rounding error. So, 35109.39, again, you should have an answer close to that, if not exactly that. Uh, this is quite close, uh, 0 0.656, I'm just going to leave it like that. Plus 34782.25, okay. And... So again, this is just the, the, the summation part. That works out to be 69892.41. So the sums of squares in nitrogen is equal to uh, 4 times 2 times uh, 69892.41. And that is equal to 559139.3 so that's sums of squares for nitrogen that's the second of our sums of squares identities uh, values uh, that's, the, that's the, a lot of work in that now this is the most interesting one this is the interaction effect okay so this is the interaction effect and what we have to do is for each group I'm not going to do the whole thing this time I'm just going to sort of start it up uh, we're going to, for each group, uh, so each group means, so each of these six values, okay, what we're going to do is, depending on which row and column it's on, we're going to subtract the row mean and the column mean, but we're going to add the overall mean, okay, so, and then we're going to add, uh, square that and add them all together. So the first one will be 1081.5 minus the column mean 1119.875. Minus the row mean 1256.75 plus the overall mean 1307.25. Square that. Then you go on to the next one 1257 minus the, the column mean 1308.125 minus the row mean 1256.75 and then add the overall mean back. And I'll just do one more, but it's sort of, you get the idea now, you should have the idea now. 1431.75 minus 1493.75 minus the row mean 1256.75 and then add in the column mean 1307.25 squared. Uh, the answers to those, uh, you go on like that, okay, but the answers should work out to be uh, one four seven point zero one five six plus not point three nine zero six plus one hundred and thirty two point two five plus one four set the zero one five six plus 0 0.3906 you should every so often get very symmetrical answers 
Okay, and that works out to be 559.3125. Okay. Uh, just rem recall that we have to that is what we have there so far is this bit here without the and now we have to multiply it by m so the sums of squares of nitrogen by uh, depth interaction is 4 m is 4 4 is number of uh, uh, replicates in each case 4 times 559.3125 and uh, multiply that out and you should get 2237 sorry just get my notes 2237.30 okay now uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to stop this video now and I'm going to pick up from here so the part 2 is going to start now um, uh, we're going to use all these measurements uh, that the sums of squares of density that we've picked up and so on.